Hi, this is Shirai. I just want to give a interval of um, some distressing news. I'm always being overstressed. Here say, she say. Now they're spreading rumors that I'm supposed to be a man. I'm dressed in drag. And that I'm supposed to be locked up so they can check to see if I have a vagina. Because they spread so many malicious rumors about me. And um, so they want to check my parts and pull my hair, that kind of thing. They want to, they want to, they want to see if I have a vagina or do I have a penis. Well, unfortunately, my birth certificate says female, not male. And those who are impersonating me seems like they have a psychological issue. They need God's help. I can't help them. I can't make them be a female if they are a male. I can't help them. But the problem is this identity theft issue. They don't understand this this uh, the psychological distress I'm under because you have individuals that are personating me. And I'm understanding men are doing it as well. And there, it's a psychological issue. Then I'm hearing that there are some people in law enforcement that are impersonating me as well. And this is the part that me and my son had our identities have been um, pretty much sabotaged because I don't understand how anybody who is impersonating me in law enforcement passed the fingerprint or the background check. It just don't make logical sense to me. How could they? How how could they be in a database? When I never had provided that to him until 2009 of July. So that doesn't make any sense. So I don't understand how and, and, it, and what are they hiding that they can't use their own identity. Whether it's a felony conviction and by the statute of law enforcement, they're not supposed to hire anyone in uniform who committed a felony. It's a statute on it. They can't even tamper with databases or anything. So I guess there's obstruction of justice involved. But I'm going to put it in God's hand because I'm tired of people talking about they going to, I'm already ill. I got this to worry about. I got my throat to worry about. I got a heart condition. I don't need all this stress. All this drama doesn't make no sense. If they would have did what was right in the first place, they wouldn't wind up worrying about who going to find out I'm not under the right identity situation? Okay? So if I'm supposed to look like a man, then there's a whole lot of people of color that's female. Because I surely don't. I don't even wear makeup. I don't, I don't have cake. I don't have foundation on. I don't have lipstick on. I don't have eyeshadow on. I have nothing. I'm more biblical. I'm natural. Okay? So I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear any makeup. I don't even wear eyeshadow or any of it. Because God loves me for who I am. I don't need to put on all the foundation and mascara and lipstick to make me feel comfortable about who I am. And besides, it, it gets on everybody's clothes and it gets on your clothes. So what's the difference? Natural? or makeup. Don't get me wrong, makeup is beautiful. There are some people who put it on lovely. I like the natural makeup where it doesn't look like it has any on. But I, I can't stand a lot of makeup. I don't like a lot of makeup. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I rarely ever wear makeup. So you see me, no lipstick, no even not even lip gloss because I go by what the biblical text says. And I, people want to always inflict me with harm and distressful situations when, you know, they don't want me to have a vagina or they want to dike me. I'm serious. I, I, have, I have people, I have strange people around me because of the fact that they think I'm like them and when I'm not. 
who they are is their business. I can't judge anyone. Who am I to judge them? But they don't have no right to force their will on me or their uh, sexuality on me. That's not right either. This is Shirai.